day YouTube. So we on Mech Warrior episode 3. And we with the Jade Falcons. Now Mad let's dog. see. Our Mech is gonna be the Mad Dog. With two large pulse lasers, two medium pulse laser lasers, and two LRM 20s. Very nice. I love me so mellowing. Our mission The wolf has committed to a two pronged assault on the planet Zutermir. The intention seems to be gain control of our orbital chemical engineering facility and the nylon space spaceport near the city of Silent. The second wolf cavaliers have dropped and are moving towards friendly position inside the city. We must stall their advance at all costs. Codename Mirror Cage. Planet Zutermere. Terrain low yields. Time dusk. Probes have detected a single sphere spheroid dropship in the wolf. Rear undergoing field repairs to its fusion core. Perform a strike against it while its defenses are offline. We hope that the enemy will perceive this action as a prelude to a large commitment of our forces to the flank and thus alleviate some of the pressure on the elements of the 10th Provincial Garrison at the Nylon Spaceport. And the situation. On September 30, 3057, Star Colonel Ori Kerensky led his newly created Tau Galaxy in an assault on the Jade Falcon planet of Zutermir. All of the young and impressionable warriors in Tau Galaxy were crusaders by inclination, but they were also wolves by blood and were therefore bound by clan honor and tradition to follow their former icon in a fight to the death against their fellow crusaders in a clan Jade Falcon. Star Captain Vladimir, a prominent crusader chosen as Ulrich's second in command, challenged the legitimacy of Ulrich's orders and along with many other young wolves, but to no avail. Ulrich had acted within his rights as a star colonel and placing the wolf crusaders under his own command and Transferring warriors with warden's sympathies to the command of Sakan Felon Ward. By setting Crusader against Crusader, Ulrich hoped to cripple not only the Jade Falcon enemy but the entire Crusader movement within the clans. Ulrich chose his first target well. A week before the beginning of the trial of refusal, he had discovered that the Falcons were converting one of the Zutomir's orbital chemical engineer facilities into a small factory for dropship parts. An orbital repair facility so close to the truce, truce line would allow the Falcons to attack deep inside the inner sphere without being hamstrung by a long wait for replacement dropships, dropship parts from the clan homeworlds. The Falcons 10th provin provisional garrison assigned to defend the fa factory against inner sphere raiding parties had stationed the bulk of its forces near the Nylon spaceport in the seaside city of Salem. A single star of mechs and two aerospace stars remained to defend the orbital facility. Ulrich planned a strategy that would allow him to destroy both the facility and the 10th garrison cluster. Before opening the bidding for the Zutomi assault, Ulrich ordered Star Commander Radek to issue a batch all to the forces defending the orbital facility once the wolf forces bid to attack the planet itself. We engaged in battle. With the bulk of Falcon forces fighting the wolves, the troops defending the orbital facility, would be left without reinforcements and would you prove know what easy time pickings it is. This for Radix Warrior. Planet Zolanir. Ambient temperature 34.68 degrees. Local time is 23.24.20 GST. All systems nominal. Autopilot engaged. Yes. Autopilot disabled. Yes. Autopilot engaged. Oh, yeah. So let's drop ship. Detected. Enemy power up. Detected. Enemy power up. Detected. 
Enemy mech destroyed. Enemy power-up detected. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the Let's 
destroyed. Secondary objective. Destroy all enemy mech units. Successful. Sequence initiated. Shutting down. This seems a bit tougher than what I remember. That's what happens when you throw other ones when you're not supposed to. Aftermath. It took three elementals to lift the ferrocil girder that had trapped Make Warrior Bozar's Piper. The Make Warrior was unconscious inside the party, partly crushed cockpit, but Bozar had been lucky. He had survived his first test by fire and would soon be fit to pilot the battle mech once again. Almost a third of the 11th Wolf regulars had not fared so well. The Wolves had won the day, but at a staggering cost. The 11th regulars had lost more than 40% of their mechs. The 21st battle 
Kalasta had suffered 32% casualties and the 4th striker cluster had lost 39% of its troops. The technicians would need at least two weeks of constant work to bring the units back to an accept acceptable 70% re readiness level. Staff Colonel Uri Kerensky's victory on the southern continent had proved less costly. The 2nd Wolf Cavalier sustained only 15% equipment losses and 3% casualties. The assault on the orbital facility was another wool victory. Star Commander Roderick Spatchel took the 10th commander completely by surprise. He had not included the facility in the original bidding because he had believed that the 10th wolf 10th itself was the wolf's sole target. This oversight, this oversight cost the Falcon commander his chance to reinforce the facility, and Radix forces swiftly overwhelmed the three defending. Okay, next mission. Mad Dog. The Mad Dog again. Exactly the same. And then our mission. Our 305 assault cluster has engaged the wolves 341st in the Antarctic waste of Lower Baker 3 Southern Continent. Trolls have found an abandoned wolf firebase, apparently sabotaged during their retreat. The fighting in the forest to the north has become fierce. The Kashyyyk has decided to rebuild the firebase and thus provide the 305th with a safe mech army resupply facility close to the line. Codename Bone Machine, Planet Baker 3, Terrain Rocky Island, Time Day. The tide of the combat has turned the Wolf 341st it is advancing to the south, defend the firebase at all costs. Defend the firebase. Destroy all attacking units. Base, nav, gamma. Ooh, I don't like this. No like this. For years, Baker 3 springs and large forests had made it a favorite recreation spot for merchants traveling through the area. These same geographical features that had been a source of pleasure for many would spell death for the Jade Falcon's Jade Airy cluster, thanks to Khan Natasha Kerensky's daring battle plan. The Wolf 341st Assault Galaxy landed 60 miles south of Falcon Command Center, at the edge of Lower Baker 3 Southern Continent. With the purple while Urmik Ocean at their backs, the wolves split up. Half of the force made its way to Lower's Defense Forest to seek out and destroy J Falcon's patrols. Meanwhile, the remaining wolves makes entered the Hot Springs fed fed waters of the Baker River and began a slow march along its bottom, with the superheated water of the river masking the Meg's heat signatures. Kanatasha hoped to outflank the Falcons and surprise them. Baker 3, ambient temperature, negative 3.454 degrees. Local time is 11.43.43 GST. All systems nominal. Autopilot engaged. Autopilot disabled.
Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Ambient temperature,
sequence initiated. Shutting down. Baker 3. Ambient temperature negative 34.54 degrees. Local time in 11.43.43 GST. All systems nominal. Image enhancement engaged. Objective. 
Destroy all enemy mech units. Successful. The battle on Baker 3 proved yet another stunning success for the Wolf Band. In the end, the Wolf Forces suffered only 21% losses, while the Jade Falcon suffered 98% losses. Unfortunately for the Wolves, the Mech Warriors of every lost Wolf Battle Mech were killed. For the Falcons, the battle seemed lost almost from the start. Stock Colonel Bullen sent numerous patrols from the Falcons' 305th assault. Cluster to destroy the wolves makes in Lova's forest, but none had any discernible success against the wolves, who employed heat and run tactics to great effect. The forest's dense vegetation severely limited the falcon's ability to target the wolves, and eventually the makes of the 305th armed almost exclusively with ballistic weapons, found themselves low on ammunition. In growing frustration, Boolean sent aerospace fighters after the wolves makes as well as more falcon battle mechs, until his forces were stretched across the continent and his commander, command center were fully under defended. At that point, the wolf, second wolf force emerged from points along the Baker River and struck at the falcon command center and the undefended flank of the 305th. 50 falcon omni mechs and 27 fighters were destroyed by the wolves that day. Only two point, points of falcon elementals managed to make it back to their landing zone for it. As like I say, these guys are losing one after the other. Eesh. Anyhow, that's it for today. And I hope you enjoyed the, the episode. We will fight again in the coming weeks. There's still a lot of episodes because Make Warrior has quite a lot and I can't wait. Cash over and out. Godspeed. Bye.